What's going on guys? Thank you for hitting 10 likes on my last two videos, on the last two episodes. That really means you guys are enjoying it. And if you guys want to see more, like I've been saying, just keep dropping the likes and the videos will keep dropping, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, so let's get into this gameplay. This will be the last game from the month of May that I'll be heading into June in the next episode. It's going to be a Kevin Durant 50 point game. If you guys want to see that, just let me know. I will. That will be the next episode. I think that will be episode number 4 and this will be episode number 3. And this game is all about defense and grind. These are the types of games where it's low scoring but defense is a major key. And offensively you still have to execute because both teams are just as good defensively and buckets are hard to come by. These are the type of games that I love to play. Some people say NBA Live is too arcadey, it's too fast paced, but if you play against the right people with the right squads, it can feel simulation, meaning you have to execute, you can't just run in the paint and dunk it all over the place. Because that's what most people see NBA Live as, where you can just press R2 and square and just dunk from anywhere from the bit, bit, <laughs> below the three point line. <laughs> I remember NBA Live 06, I think, with the high flyer, like they had special abilities. You literally could just. Oh my god, that was crazy. I don't even know if it was NBA Live 06 or 07, but I remember one of those games, you have special kill skills. You have high flyer, you have three point shooter, you have fancy passer. I'm sure some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Like Steve Nash had Fancy Passer and like and uh, Vince Carter had High Flyer. It was freaking insane. So, anyways, this game was really fun. My bench squad was the Oklahoma City trio with Westbrook, Harden, and Kevin Durant. And in this game, I wanted to try the new Damian Lillard came out at that time. It was a spotlight Damian Lillard and it, re it looked really good so that is why I put him in the starting lineup so I could test him out and put in work against his squad and if you guys saw in the beginning of the video his team had 263 wins so he is a pretty good player and he has a pretty good team as well he has Penny Hardaway, Anthony Davis, Cousins, Giannis I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna try saying his last name <laughs> I know I'm going to mess it up and I don't want to mess it up. Damian Lillard with a sick crossover moves into the pull up jump shot. So now it is a one point basketball game midway through the third. This is a beautiful pick and roll, screen and roll, screen and pop, whatever you want to call it. Two man game. Watch Clay Thompson. He came off the baseline for that triple. Sneaky, sneaky three. If you want to get those type of threes, you just got to be patient on offense. Sometimes you just got to wait and your players will move by themselves, get to the open spot. Some people, they rush their offense. They, they pre-think their offense. Like, for example, once they inbound the ball, they want to get a three right away. So they just try to force it. But sometimes offensively, you just got to let it flow. And you never know what's going to happen. And Damian Lillard is getting some nice shots off the offensive rebounds from Andre Drummond who is such a beast on this game. So coming right up is going to be one of the craziest highlights of this game. Damian Lillard gets Penny Hardaway with the crossover. And then he hits a three right in his grill. Watch this once again. Oh my goodness. One thing I wanted to mention is that I like showing defensive highlights and offensive highlights of both teams. I know some people just like to show offensive highlights of their own team only, you know, to showcase how good they are and they don't show anything about the opponent, no defensive clips. But I like to show both sides so you guys could see what's actually going on in the game. Uh, you guys get to get the feel of the game because I feel like if you're just showing offensive clips of your own team only, it's... I don't know, you already expect what to see, you know? So, I don't know if I just made any sense right there. <laughs> Sorry, my commentary skills are terrible right now. I'm so rusty. I'm trying to 
get back into it, get back into the flow. Since I will be posting a lot more videos, I need to refine my commentary, get better. And watch Penny Hardaway right here. He's making a late fourth quarter run. He was down by as much as 10 points heading into the fourth. But Damian Lillard has a nice step back right here to put us up by 5 points. But you already know my opponent is not going to give up. He gets an alley-oop to DeMarcus Cousins. And another one to Anthony Davis from Penny Hardaway. And at this point, I had to call a timeout because it was only a one-point game. And I did not want to lose this basketball game. So I called a timeout. I brought in my bench because his team was tired. My team was tired. We were playing hard on both sides. So we had to make some subs. Kevin Durant in the corner. That was a nice clutch shot. I'm going to give it to KD once again. I'm going to shoot it right over his defender. 33%. And one more time to end the basketball game. Kevin Durant with a step back. Jay in his grill once again so if you guys enjoyed this video keep dropping the likes keep dropping the comments and the next episode will be a Kevin Durant 50 point game so if you guys are excited to see that just let me know and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you guys in the next one